Do you hear all the science coming out of my horn? Welcome to introductory video two of Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 13. This summer is going to be called The Science of Music as a Living Thing. Now, right away, there's three very important things in that title. Science, music, and living thing. Have you ever been to a concert and thought, wow, listen to all the science? Have you ever been out in nature and seeing the natural laws at play and say, Listen to all the music in the science. Or see a frog, a living thing, and say, wow, look at the science and the music. So this summer, one of the important things is we're going to be looking at the word science. Big topic these days. People are arguing a lot about science. I can tell you, for me, in the work that I've been doing, science has to align itself to truth. Science exists, especially if you look at it in relationship to the natural laws. And a physicist, biologist, a zoologist, right? Environmental sciences and in essence, the medical science, health sciences, they're dealing with the natural laws of the environment outside of a person, inside of a person, and the relationship and interactions between the two, or the interactions between the elements, and all of this gets very curious about what's a living thing, what's a non-living thing, and I can ask the question, what's the living science, and what's the non-living science? What's the living alive music, and what isn't? And not to come to any preconceived ideas of that, but to be with a mindset that wants as close as we can get to the truth of that. So in this short video, the short introductory video two of the science of music as a living thing, because there's been books written about the science of music. There's books written about all sorts of sciences as it relates to nature and different animals and the elements and all of that. 
right? And there's been a lot written on, for example, um, the human experience with coming across the discovery of certain laws, Copernicus and Newton and Aristotle, all these people, and so many, right? And you can look at transportation in itself and see the development of certain sciences. The sciences, in terms of the way I'm looking at it right now, and there's other ways to look at it, but the laws at play in actual life as it pertains to what science calls living things and non-living things. And so when people hear me say, well, I feel mu I think about music as a living thing, what does that mean? And what would be the science of that? Can science, as humans have put it together, with their measuring devices of things, that's a lot of science is measurement, isn't it? Can we see is something alive? What would we come to? Will we come to, wow, that music, I'm not so sure it's alive. And that could, could that be actually empirically proved? Well, let's put it this way. And we'll get into a lot more depth about this on the Zoom calls, okay? There have been many books written about the effects of music on plants, for example, and on humans. Those of you who have heard of such books probably remember the book of can't remember who it's by right now, but the Mozart effect. And what Mozart's music did to plants, what it did to humans, brains. Now, a human just isn't a brain. We have a lot of component parts in our human instrument with different detection systems, don't we? Look at our senses, the hearing, the sight, the smell, the taste, the touch. They all can pick up vibrations. And of course, sound is a manifestation of vibration. So right away, you see there's science involved. The rhythm, pitch, and timbre all have their own science. And they're actually very related. So we're going to look into this. The next time you hear a group or a soloist, or it doesn't make any difference what the genre is, genre think hmm, in the midst of your feelings what am I feeling from this what does that say about the science of that music and how it affects me so short little preview and introduction to this summer of Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 13, The Science of Music as a Living Thing. And for those who are interested, 
can always get in touch with me because on June 17th, there's going to be a free introductory lecture. And after that, the Zoom calls will have something else attached in them to, for people to show their value of what's being offered and something they can put into their own life and their own personal science. 